Hello students, welcome to the session from Infinity Lane. This is Suresh, faculty of chemistry from Infinity Lane. Today we are going to discuss about Arrhenius equation, which is very important topic in NEET examination. It is based on NCRT textbook from the chemical kinetics grade 12. So what is this Arrhenius equation? This Arrhenius equation tells about temperature dependence on the rate of a reaction. Before going into the details, just I just want to present you two things for you. One is score examination. So this is the India's largest scholarship test examination and this gives worth of 1 crore rupees of scholarship. And you may be related to Infinity Learn is maybe a student of Infinity Learn or from Sri Chaitanya, it does not matter. You can be from anywhere and you can be from any school or any college, you can attempt the this score examination and it is from grade 3 to grade 12 and this happens on every day from 9th October onwards. And the silent features are there here, scholarship with 1 crore rupees and also study setup and also laptop will be given to you according to your benchmark of a scoring and educational allowances and also up to 100% of the scholarship that you opt for any course. So what late? You just check in the description box, the score examination link is given and you just click it on and fill and it rush it. And one more important thing, so yes, you are preparation, your NEET examination. You are preparing your NEET examination with a lot of sincerity and there should be a benchmark of how you are preparing that is assisted by NEET 2025 All India Test Series, a package is available by Infinity Learn and these are the silent features you can see AITS, 13 unit test, 4 part test and 10 grant test based on NEET preparation and it is very important and 20 online NEET full syllabus test and also grade 11 and grade 12 syllabus which test may cover kiya jayega and you also having 25 neat topic wise previous year questions and also there are three PCB books, physics, chemistry, biology books that are along with video solutions on the app available and you can see detailed solution performance benchmarking for every test that you are going to write here and also benchmarking with Sri Chaitanya students and the rank along with the Sri Chaitanya students will be given there. And what late you can enroll, you can scan this QR code and you can enroll. Also, you can click it on the description box. A link is given for this test preparation. Actually, the test preparation cost it was 5999, but for special discount is available for you guys, it is coming 4799 rupees. And only this is possible applying this coupon code Suresh20. Minded students, this is very important. You just all get into the details. So, without delay, we will go into the Arrhenius equation. This Arrhenius equation tells what? So, Arrhenius equation tells us the temperature dependence on the rate of a reaction. For every chemical reaction, if temperature is increased, the speed of the reaction is increased. That is quantitatively assessed by Arrhenius equation. So, we, let us see a temperature quotient. So, for this temperature quotient, for a chemical reaction with raise in temperature, for every 10 degrees centigrade, the rate constant is nearly doubled. So, rate constant is the measure of the rate of a reaction. Her, her temperature, her 10 degree temperature, badna hai, rate constant double hona hai. So that is given as a temperature quotient. So the temperature quotient is nothing but the ratio of the rate constant of a reaction at a T degree centigrade plus 10 degree centigrade to the rate constant at that T degree centigrade. So this is merely the temperature quotient for the reactions. Most of the reaction it comes to be 2 or 3 and that is mathematically explained by Arrhenius equation. This Arrhenius equation tells us what? So, before going for the Arrhenius equation, I just want to discuss about the Maxwell-Boltzmann molecular distribution curves. Maxwell-Boltzmann curve. Maxwell-Boltzmann curve from the kinetic theory of gases 
kinetic energy of the gas is directly proportional to the absolute temperature as temperature increases the kinetic energy is increasing so if you take a graph between the fraction of molecules and the molecular distribution showing the various energies so it is going to be a peak and is coming down so at low temperatures you see this is the low temperature the fraction of molecules are very less at a moderate temperature the fraction of molecules are very high as the temperature is increasing the fraction of molecules so the fraction of molecules at a given temperature is less so this is the fraction of molecules with high kinetic energy so if you apply this same graph at two temperatures let us say t1 and t2 you are going to get a graph like this this is this t temperature and the t plus 10 degrees centigrade so i just want to say this is a t of course is less than t plus 10 degrees centigrade of course so as temperature increases what happens the graph becomes a flat and the fraction of molecules with high kinetic energy at low temperature fraction itna tha and at high temperature the fraction itna bad gaya so the fraction of molecules with high kinetic energy increases so i mean to say the collisions increases the collision which gives the is to the product increases so that rate of a reaction increases that i just want to explain you by using this graph this graph is application of the maxwell boltzmann molecular distribution curves so with increase in temperature what are the things are happening with the graph minimum of the curve moves to the higher level to the value of the most probable kinetic energy increased so and also the curve spreads the right and this most fraction of molecules higher kinetic energy is more and the area under the curve remains constant no problem since the probability must be one at all times at t degree centigrade plus 10 the area showing the fraction of molecules having energy greater than that of activation energy increases so that rate of a reaction increases by the way what is the activation energy if you talk about the energy versus reaction progress the reactant molecule gives rise to the product molecules the extra energy that need to given to reach the threshold value is called as activation energy so the fraction of molecules equal or greater than activation energy value increases as temperature increases that is given as arrhenius equation in this arrhenius equation you can see quantitatively the temperature dependent on rate constant is given by the arrhenius equation that arrhenius equation is equal to k is equal to a exponent ea by rt k stands here rate constant and a here arrhenius factor or arrhenius constant or pre exponential factor and activation energy ea is an activation energy r is a gas constant and t is a temperature should be in kelvin whenever r value you want to take always take 8.314 joule kelvin inverse and mole inverse and let us apply this arrhenius equation and you are going to see how the quotients can be come from this arrhenius equation based on ncrt in the neat examination let us see so this is k exponent a exponent ea by rt and the factor that is shown here minus ea by rt corresponds to the fraction of molecules that have a kinetic energy either equal or greater than activation energy this point is a super awesome point based on that you can have a logical oriented questions from the neat examination dear children you please note this particular point and also mathematical approach a arrhenius equation kaisa istamal karna logarithm format mein convert karo and graph bana do aapko dekhna hai k is equal to a ea by rt and taking the logarithm so k becomes ln k is equal to minus ea by rt plus ln a this equation i just want to say ln k is equal to minus ea by r into 1 by t 
plus ln a. This equation seems to be like y is equal to mx plus c, y is equal to mx plus c. So, equation of a straight line. Now, as this is a negative e a by r, it is going to be a straight line with a negative slope that appears like that. So, if you talk about this ln k upon 1 by t, you are going to get a slope minus e a by r and intercept is going to be at ln a. Based on this, you will be having a graphical oriented questions and in the neat examination, you will be having different graphs at different options. You have to pick the correct options which carries 4 marks. And also, let us elaborate this and ln k is equal to minus e a by r t plus ln a and take this natural logarithm to the logarithm to the base 10. Ln k is equal log k is equal log a minus e a by 2.303 rt into 1 by t. Again, this seems like an equation of a straight line and take a graph and it is going to be a log k upon 1 by t is going to be again a straight line with a slope minus e a by 2.303 and this is very important. Slope will be given, you are asked to calculate activation energy in the neat examination. Very, very important. This graphs kind of things are also important in the board examination. Let us take this particular equation and uh, we can take these two temperatures and two rate constants. Yet at temperature T1, the Arrhenius equation is given as ln k1 is equal to a upon r t1 temperature and ln a a is a constant there and at temperature t2 and rate constant is going to be k2 and i said a is a constant and take this equation number 1 and equation number 2 and subtract this when you subtract this you are going to get ln k2 minus ln k1 is equal to a by r t1 minus a by r t2 so, log a minus log b is equal to log a by b. So, that we are going to move ahead. Log a by b means ln k2 by k1 is equal to a by r of 1 by t1 minus 1 by t2. And log k2 by k1 is equal to a by 2.303 or 1 by t1 minus 1 by t2. And also you can say log k2 by k1 is equal to a by 2.303 or t2 minus t1 upon t1 t2 based on that definitely you will be having a temperature related questions from the Arrhenius equation and direct question direct numericals you are asked to calculate activation energy or you will be asked to calculate k1 will be given and you are asked to calculate k2. So, that kind of questions will be more prone from the NCRT based NEET examination preparation. And at the end what we see, the rate of a reaction increases by increase in temperature, that is the first point. And also, it is quite clear from Arrhenius equation, the small raise in temperature, the rate of the reaction increases tremendously, exponentially because log k, k is equal to Arrhenius factor exponentially increasing minus E a by R t. So, it is exponentially it is increasing and in fact, one of the most significant factors that affect strongly is for every 10 degree raise in temperature, the reaction generally doubles or may triples. So, these are the outcomes from the Arrhenius equation on increasing the temperature number of molecules possessing activation energy increases therefore, rate of the reaction increases and most important thing is based on Arrhenius equation you will be getting a question based on the graph or a numerical or a theory oriented statement oriented questions. So, these are the three areas you focus it and definitely you will be getting a point to point scoring in the entire chemistry. So, you like this session, please like and share with your friends and subscribe. Thank you very much. Thank you.